connection to the earth and connection to our spirituality revolves around the Grand Canyon. These places are living things. They're living beings. There's very much a consideration to nature and for nature into the systems of stewardship with Native peoples. It's so important to protect the Grand Canyon. And the people in it, and the animals in it, and the water in it all need to be protected. It's our responsibility as visitors to pay attention to the places that we're in. I wanted to spend more time learning about the canyon, learning about the history, learning about the people, plants, the water. And there's just truly a really devastating history through Grand Canyon National Park. This seemingly beautiful area has a very localized problem that I think a lot of the public is unaware of. I certainly was, of just how significant these threats are to the region. Due to 1872 mining law, that has opened the doors to international mining companies to come on to these areas and stake uranium claims. These mines are now sitting on top of the largest aquifer in the Southwest. Millions of tons of uranium ore were mined under sometimes primitive conditions, then trucked to ore buying stations. Potential hazards were overlooked. Mill tailings were simply dumped and ignored. Once uranium is removed from the earth, it creates danger to human life and animals, especially water. We have a sort of broken relationship with this place. It just commodified for the taking of a quick sort of experience of whether it's a photo at the rim or a run across the canyon. It's so much greater and more important than that. This isn't just a national park, this isn't just a huge, you know, amazingly massive canyon, um, but it's something that has so much in it and there's so much alive too in a desert that can be so barren to some people when they see it. And not to mention there's, you know, water in it. In the Southwest, that is life. We may be on the front lines of, of water contamination, but our water is going downstream, and it will affect all the people that are living along the Colorado River. And my tribe has been working on this issue ever since I was a child. Very recently, we were able to successfully get the President of the United States to come out to our sacred lands and declare a little over a million acres of public lands for preservation. The Pinyon Plain Mine is approximately three to five miles away from Red Butte. Red Butte is considered to be a place of the beginning of time. It's very important to the Havasupai people, 
and the mine is a threat to the water bed that lies beneath it. There's a lot of important artifacts as well as archaeological sites that are within the area of Redbeard. Once you contaminate water, you cannot clean it up. You cannot drink it, you cannot consume it, you cannot feed your animals with it. Once you contaminate water, there's no turning back. It's not just a Native American issue. It's a human issue now. It's a human life issue now. The more people you have knowing about this issue, uh, the better chances of us of making a change. And we can't do it alone. And uh, we need everyone's support. I strongly believe that a lot of people need to understand that it takes all of us in order to stand up against injustices like this. I think both parties have to reconcile with the past and have to heal together. And I think the natural world is probably the best place we can heal from a lot of things, and as long as we do it together. I'm far from knowing all the issues or all the intricacies of, of, this, of this problem, but I also am aware of enough to know that it's significant and urgent and that it needs our attention now. <laughs>